As a relatively new entry to the horror genre, found footage movies have had a massive impact on the horror community. Made for almost no budget, they're typically made by independent filmmakers and have proved to Hollywood that it's not all about gore and effects. This POV style of filmmaking has become a hugely successful niche, even capturing the attention of Hollywood. Usually filmed in a handheld style to create a potential reality, these small movies are able to create some of the most memorable scares in cinema history. This is... The Top 10 Found Footage Movies For this list, I'll be looking at the very best examples of found footage horror. To qualify, the movie must be filmed in a style that mirrors reality, whether the footage is handheld, security cam, or any other guerrilla-style method. As long as the picture is not shot in the typical cinematic tradition, it's eligible for this list. So let's begin. Number 10. Starting the list is J.J. Abrams' first major production, Cloverfield. This kaiju movie received mass attention during its exceptional ad campaign in 2008. Showing little more than Lady Liberty's head rolling down a New York street and a nondescript title, many took to the internet to find clues surrounding the movie. Upon its release, Cinemagores experienced what may be considered the first big-budget found-footage movie. Mostly following the attendees of a farewell party as a giant monster wreaks havoc in New York, we join the party as they try to reach their families and flee from the city. Featuring outstanding effects, the movie won over audiences with its high energy, suspense, and amazing creature design. Also spawning two indirect sequels, Cloverfield has since become a staple name in the world of horror. Number 9 Filmed with a combination of home video and security footage, Paranormal Activity documents the supernatural occurrences surrounding Katie. Moving into a new home, in hopes of capturing the events on camera, her partner Micah sets up multiple cameras in their home. Throughout the course of the picture, Katie's hauntings become progressively more unsettling and violent, building up to one of the most memorable and chilling horror endings of the 21st century. Praised for its atmosphere and suspense, the movie would receive five cash grab sequels, none managing to better the effectiveness of the original movie and is often scathed by seasoned horror fans. Filled with a budget of only $15,000, the movie's return of almost $200 million makes Paranormal Activity the most profitable feature ever made. Number 8 Set in the catacombs of Paris, Archaeologist Scarlet leads a team underground hoping to discover the mythological Philosopher's Stone. After deciphering the grave of Nicolas Flamel, Scarlet gathers a team to document the journey. Becoming lost in the underground, we learn of a supernatural cult that lives in the passages. Driven by the hunt for their Philosopher's Stone and with no option but to go further into the ever-changing catacombs, the group are forced to face their own fears in order to survive. Filmed in the first-person angle, the movie's style of treating the audience as a team member created a chillingly immersive and claustrophobic experience. And despite the mixed reviews by many critics, As Above, So Below was well received by horror fans for its atmosphere and engrossing story. Number 7 Considered by some as the original found footage movie, the last broadcast follows the crime TV mockumentary, Fact or Fiction, as he covers the case of a cable TV host who's accused of killing three of his production team. During a live TV broadcast that explores the Pine Barrens, a team go in search of the Jersey Devil. Led by psychic Jim Seward, the footage shows the team go deeper into the woods, which are also assumed to be the home of a serial killer. Presented with a mix of mockumentary, the movie features faux interviews spliced with the recovered and restored footage caught by the deceased film crew. Sadly, the movie would fade into obscurity as it was overshadowed by the Blair Witch Project. Over time, the last broadcast has slowly gained in popularity and is beginning to see the recognition it truly deserves. Number 6 The most recent entry on the list, this documentary-style picture observes Deborah Logan, a sweet old lady who suffers from Alzheimer's disease. She allows a film crew into her home to document the disease as it slowly breaks down her personality. As the picture evolves, we learn there is something more than just her condition causing the downward spiral. Witnessing unexplained events, we learn she may be possessed by a serpentine demon. Featuring a standout performance from Jill Larson, 
As Deborah deteriorates, her ability to switch between personalities adds an engrossingly contrast experience rarely seen in cinema. Receiving almost unanimously positive reviews, the taking of Deborah Logan was referred to by critics as found footage done right for its outstanding antagonist and unforgettable ending. Number 5 As a cynical take on TV shows like Most Haunted, the movie follows the team of Grave Encounters, a charlatan reality TV show that explores supposedly haunted buildings. Recorded in an abandoned asylum, the pessimistic crew learn that the building they're investigating is home to genuine sinister spirits. Over the course of the movie, the team find themselves trapped in an ever-changing building layout. Forced to go further into the bowels of the asylum, the team are picked off until only one member remains. Despite the typical setup, Grave Encounter's cynical approach to the genre gave the movie a flavor that made it stand out from its peers. Coupled with great atmosphere and suspense, this under-the-radar picture has since grown a faithful following and even spawned a sequel. Although originally receiving mixed reviews, Grave Encounters has remained a genre favorite since 2011. Number 4 A rare horror entry from Norway, the mockumentary follows three students who set out to capture a suspected bear poacher. During their investigation they meet Hans, who claims to be a troll hunter working for the government. Following him into the woods, the team discovered that the night is home to giant monsters. Fascinated with the creatures, the students begin to document the hunter as he tracks down several dangerous trolls that escaped from secret government protection. The movie would gain the attention of Harry Potter director Chris Columbus, who has been pitching a western remake since 2012. Though not confirmed, it is believed to have inspired his 2017 feature I Kill Giants. Praised for its Nordic sense of humor and featuring humbling low-budget effects, Troll Hunter won multiple awards and was nominated by Empire Magazine as the best horror movie of 2011. Number 3 Showcasing the talents of several different filmmakers, these anthology movies deliver a plethora of scares, most notably Amateur Night, a date gone wrong movie when an unassuming girl becomes involved in a potential gang rape situation, only to learn she is a shape-shifting demon. Interestingly, this segment would be expanded into the full feature, Siren, and also Safe Haven, a story of a cult leader that allows a cynical film crew to record the raising of a demon. Presented in a rough videotape format, the first two VHS films have a well-deserved following, although dropping the ball with Viral, the third installment, parts one and two are on the verge of becoming cult movies. Despite the few underwhelming segments, between the first two pictures lay some of the very best and effective horror shorts ever created. Number 2 The movie that both started the craze and gave the genre its title, The Blair Witch Project needs no introduction. The story of three student filmmakers who become lost in the Burkittsville woods in hopes of documenting a local legend became a worldwide success in 1999. Filmed on a micro budget of $60,000 and a return of almost $250 million, Blair Witch Mania introduced many parts of the world to low-budget independent movies and paved the way for the future of found footage cinema. The creation of the Blair Witch Project was a perfect storm, in similar fashion to the footage segments of Cannibal Holocaust. The entire movie was presented as factual and used the internet and viral marketing to create false news reports and fake mythologies, all building to the potential reality of the picture. Seen as a very polarizing movie, separating horror fans from cinephiles, The Blair Witch Project remains one of the most important horror films of all time. Have your say in future top 10s and follow Demented Pictures on Facebook. Also, 
you can support the show on Patreon. Check the links in the description box below. Number 1 From Catalonia comes this almost perfect zombie movie. Following a reality TV film crew as they report on a local fire service, they are called to an apartment building and find an elderly woman covered in blood screaming. After savagely attacking one of the fire crew, the team discovered the building is under quarantine. Throughout the confusion, the attacked fireman springs to life and tries to savage the crew and tenants. What follows is an all-out barrage as the occupants are slowly and viciously turned into red-eyed demons. Upon learning of a clergyman who lives in the building, they head to the top floor to discover that the priest is harboring a dark, horrifying secret. Seen almost solely through the eyes of cameraman Pablo, this immersive POV horror experience surprised fans and critics alike with its high energy and gore effects. Winning multiple awards from nine governing bodies, Wreck also spawned three sequels and had a US remake Dilogy and has become one of the most successful horror franchises of the 21st century. So there was my list. Were there any I missed? Which found footage movies do you love the most? Leave a message below and consider checking out some of these other episodes of Demented Top Tens. This is Mike from Demented Pictures saying, May your movies be bloody and your scares be shitless.